Oh, I'm going to try and make a plate at the bottom of this bumper here. The, the, the chrome is all rusted off down here. This is all rust. So uh, I'm going to wire brush the whole thing and then I'm going to um, I may just do a spot to see how well it works. I'm going to use uh, an ureatic acid to uh, eat the rust off and then quickly plate it before it rusts up again. Okay, I'm going to mix. I've got some water here. I'm going to put about one third hydrochloric acid and muriatic to uh, three parts water, one part acid to three parts water. Then I'm going to paint it on here. It's rust. You can't plate over rust. I wanted to copper plate it first, but uh, you have to use copper cyanide and a wood plate, but I don't like the idea of splashing cyanide everywhere. You get a lot of splashing. Well, anyway, this is going to take a while for this um, acid, but you got to get it down to bare steel, and then you can rinse it off and make a plate. So it's not going to look exactly like the uh, chrome plate with this chrome plate peeling off in bad shape. So anything I do is going to improve it. So I'm going to take a while, a few hours. Okay, I'm just brush playing here with nickel on this spot here. got a reference in there, a video where you can get this uh, brush plating solution. It's called brush plating. And I'm just, because I don't have a vat big enough to put the whole bumper in, I'm just brushing it on. I've got power supply here. Seems to be working. You can see the nickel going on there compared to this little bit of a rusty, uh, when I just washed off the uh, new de-rusted cheap uh, metal steel it's rusting back up you can see here not so with the nickel now I'm not going to put chrome on because I don't have chrome chrome is toxic there is a near chrome solution that uh, doesn't use actual chrome but simulates the look of chrome so I've been doing this for a few minutes and it looks like it's building up to me. So then I'm probably going to go here next and let this dry out. And then I can wash this off, wash this off here and do that like that. And come back to get the middle. Okay, I'm probably going to move over to there. Now you can see I've done left and right. I've left that rusty in the middle. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to wash, wash it off and uh, brush plate it now. This uses a 3 volt power supply and the uh, negative. The bumper is grounded right here with that clip and the positive attaches to the brush. And then when I uh, plate Try and get the brush wet all the way to the top so it comes up to the left to see the brush. So you can see it works. So I'm going to uh, clean this rust off, scrub it off with 
towel and then put it quickly put some nickel on it to keep the uh, keep it from rusting up and like that. Well, I'm done here with it, the nickel plating. And one thing you could do. No good. Now, once you get your nickel plate done, uh, rinse it off and put some of this maple jelly on it, thin film, and then kind of mist some water on, and then lightly, lightly remove it, and leave it trying to leave it a, a thin film of uh, maple jelly, there, and that'll keep it from uh, rusting if it gets wet. Now, what you can do is get go to the uh, use polishing compound. If you want to buff up a, a shine, more of a shine than this, you can get buffing compound. I've seen it at Walmart for auto bodies. Put it on a uh, rag and then kind of polish it up and then wash it off and you should uh, bring out some shine. But this is way better than it was. You can see over here, the happen been from here and there and it's just it's totally rusty so this is better than it was. It's not as good as a uh, bumper job at a replacing shop but it uh, didn't cost very much and it's not too bad. Okay, I'm going to try and buff up a little bit of a shine. I've got uh, polishing compound. You can get it at Walmart for two dollars. Got one of these. See if we can buff up a little bit of the shine. The more time you spend, the more shine you can get. I'll do that and come back. <laughs> 